I insisted that she check with the pilot about what's happening. She reluctantly called the pilot and then made a public announcement that there is an emergency. The windshield of the aircraft is cracked. Dear friends, welcome to my 19th episode of my world travel stories. And today I'm going to share about how I made it to a country that most of us have never heard of, the sinking island of Tuvalu. Tuvalu is a sovereign country in the Polynesian sub-region of Oceania in the Pacific Ocean. It is the fourth smallest nation in the world with a total land area of less than 26 square kilometers. It is about four times smaller than the city of Paris. It has a resident population of about 11,000 people. The country is literally sinking, swallowed by sea rise and coastal erosion. The highest point in the island is barely three meters above sea level. And it is thought that the population will become the first climate change refugees having to flee Tuvalu because of the rising sea levels. There is something special about the airport runway in Tuvalu, which you will not get to experience anywhere else in the world. The same runway, which is used by the aeroplanes, is also used for playing volleyball, football, or riding on a motorbike, or even to lay down and gaze at the stars in the night. It is indeed an amazing feeling. There are very few flights to the island and whenever a flight is approaching, the police will ring a siren about 15 minutes before the arrival to warn everyone. I arrived in Nandi in Fiji on the 23rd of August 2008. I took a bus and went to Suwa and performed few concerts over the weekend. On Monday, the 25th of August, I went to the Air Fiji office to reconfirm my ticket to Tuvalu and they confirmed that I'm all set to travel on the 26th. I reported three hours before the departure on the 26th of August at the Suva International Airport. And after two hours of waiting, the ground staff said that the flight to Tuvalu has been postponed to the next day. The airline put me in a hotel. I came back the next day to the airport and the Air Fiji flight did not take off. This delay kept continuing. And the news broke out that all Air Fiji aircrafts have been grounded due to safety and financial reasons. After staying in the hotel for a week, I decided to cancel my trip to Tuvalu and continue my journey to Kiribati. I almost waited for two years to travel back to Tuvalu and arrived back in Nandi on the 31st of May 2010 from Sydney. On the 1st of June, I boarded the Pacific Sun flight number FJ281 from Suva and we took off at 9.25 am en route to Tuvalu. Generally, the flying time is about 2 hours and 20 minutes. After an hour of flying, I suddenly felt that the plane was descending. I called the air hostess and I asked her, is the plane descending? She looked at her watch and said, we still have another hour and 20 minutes. So the plane is not descending. I insisted that she check with the pilot about what's happening. She reluctantly called the pilot and then made a public announcement that there is an emergency. The windshield of the aircraft is cracked and hence they are going to turn around and do an emergency landing in Nandi. You must be wondering how can the windshield of the aircraft crack? The aircraft windshield is made up of three laminated layers. The external layer is tough to weather heavy rain, hail, lightning strikes and so on. The other two layers are not heavy load bearing. They have heating elements sandwiched between each layer. The windshield can fail due to various reasons such as delamination, cracking or even use of improper methods to secure it. Failure of a windshield can cause the aircraft to depressurize. It was a small aircraft and everyone started to share how their plans have been affected. I told them about my experience in 2008 with Air Fiji and I almost waited for two years to go to Tuvalu. Finally, we landed at Nandi International Airport at 11.45 a.m. There was a big commotion in the airport and I met up with the manager and explained the situation and that I am at the verge of breaking the world record. 
after a lot of patience and persuasion. They promised to make sure that I will reach the Walu the next day, that is the 2nd of June. They were kind and hospitable. They put me in a hotel and the next day, early morning, we took off from Nandi at 7 a.m. and landed in Suva at 7.30 a.m. And we changed aircrafts and we took off from Suva at 9.25 a.m. As we were approaching Tuvalu, the aerial view was breathtaking. These are some of the photos I took with my simple camera. I really wished I had a better camera at the time. Finally, we landed in Funafuti, the capital of Tuvalu, at 11.45 a.m. Reverend Kitiona and Maike came to receive me at the airport. They hosted me and organized various concerts at different stages. The people were so simple, loving and hospitable. I got to meet up with the Governor General of Tuvalu, His Excellency Sir Iacoba Italele, and performed on my guitar and shared my testimony. I am reminded of two scriptures from the Holy Bible. Second Chronicles 15.7 says, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Many times, you would have made concrete plans with a lot of preparations. But for no fault of yours, you can end up in disappointment. It can be so frustrating that you might quit or take up plans that are very safe and comfortable. In 2008, I had planned a Nine Nation Pacific Island concert tour. I had spent a lot of time in planning, booking the tickets, contacting the host. And when the Tuvalu trip got cancelled, it was so frustrating. The God-given vision to travel to every nation kept the hope alive to travel to Tuvalu. When the second attempt in 2010 was hampered due to the windshield crack, I wanted to give up. I just committed my plans to my Lord Jesus and I prayed for strength to be calm, patience to hold on to the hope and faith to make it to Tuvalu and indeed God made the way. Dear friends, don't give up no matter how frustrating it gets. Hold on to the vision that God has given you and keep striving. And I know that one day you will be more than a conqueror. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would encourage you to go to youtube.com slash Penny Prasad. And there's a bell icon there. Please click on it so that every time I post a video, you will be notified. I would love to get your comments too. And please to share these videos to your friends and your family members so that they will also be encouraged. God bless you all.